Hi, Hiram here. The other day I did a video on how I carry my Weber lighter cubes. Got a lot of response from that. A couple of good questions and ideas that I thought maybe I'd just go over real quick here today. Uh, one was Sergeant Markins asked if the wax extends the burn time of the cubes. I don't know, it it makes the whole thing burn longer and what happens is the wax melts off of this and into the tinder and then that too burns. So I guess you could say yeah it extends the burn a little bit. Again I wouldn't use it as a uh, fire source for cooking like in a cook kit or something. It's way too sooty for me. But what I was doing before was I would just take the cube and then either crush it or just open it up just like that. Now I haven't had much luck on starting it with a uh, fire steel. The wax just doesn't lend itself. But watch it burst into flames now. See I'm getting a good spark here but it just doesn't take off real well. I end up having to use a match to do it. But I got an idea here from, I don't know how to say this, but it's W-B-R-A-D-S-S. -S. He said he saw a guy do the same thing, I guess he means with the wax, but he puts a piece of string in the cube as a wick. So I got to thinking about that and why not use the wicks from the candles that I melt for the outside. Oh, I also got another question from, I can't remember who it was. He said he has a stupid question, which there is no such thing, and this just shows it. He said, does it really have to be red wax? No, it could be any wax you want. I just used red because what I have on the inside is white. So by doing it a different color, then I see if it's totally covered. I thought that was a pretty cool idea pretty cool question. But anyway, instead of using string I thought what about the wicks from the candles that I melt? So I took two pieces of the uh, Weber cube, cut two pieces, got the exact same weight, three grams each, but the one I covered with wax, then after I covered it with the wax I took a small drill and drilled into the hole where I put the toothpick just drilled it big enough that I could cut a piece of the old uh, wick off and stick it in the hole. Can you see that there? So it makes what kind of looks like a cherry bomb. Now the first time I did this I put it on the top and it ended up burning like a candle for like five minutes before the uh, Weber even lit. So this time what I did was I poked it into the side So let's give this a try here. What I'll end up probably doing is speeding up the film, the video, in between the times that I talk. I'm going to start by lighting the wick one first. Okay, there you see the wick's burning. Oh, let's start this. Now it's melting a little bit of the wax. I don't think the Weber has started yet. When it does, then I'll start the other one. I think the Weber is burning now. So let me start the other cube. That's at 33 seconds and let's see how long this lasts.
and that's just about the end of the uncoated Weber. I don't know if I said that in the beginning, but that was a three gram piece of the Weber lighter cube. This was a three gram piece, but it was coated with wax and it totaled six grams altogether then. Okay, it's just about burned out, the uh, uncoated one. We can make that to 33 seconds, and it would be an even six minutes. Okay, that's past, so let's say 637. So that burned for about six minutes. This is still working on six minutes 46 seconds. Now the wax is burning through using the Weber cube as a wick. If this was on a fire and you had put this on tinder, the tinder would have soaked up the wax and would have been burning from that. So you would have had a bigger fire and probably not lasting as long. No, that's still going. Let's say huh, still burn. Okay, there we have seven thirty three. Let's keep it at that. Seven thirty three, so that meant that six that three gram piece burned for six minutes. Okay, let's call that at 1040. The 3 gram piece with 3 grams of wax on it burned for 10 minutes and 40 seconds, but it's still going. What had happened here was I should have used a smoother piece of can lid. The wax has gone into the outer rings and it's not getting to the burning part that much anymore. But like I said, if this had been in a, if you'd been using this for a fire and you'd put tinder underneath this, the wax would have soaked into the tinder and then burned from there. And uh, basically it all burns up. It's not like when I was using the tin foil. I'd end up with tin foil in the fire that I'd have to pick out to take back with me. So I'm not sure if putting the wick in it actually helps any. When I crushed it like this and I'd light it, the whole thing would just kind of go up just right then and there. Which I think is probably a better way to do it. Just coat them, then when you get to where you want to go you just uh, crush them and you can light them up like that. Oops, I just put the, oh there we go. Oh, can you see that? It just lit the piece. So I thank Sergeant Markins and WBRADSS for their questions and ideas. If anybody else has any others that they'd like me to try, please send them along. So as always, I thank you for watching. I look forward to your questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max.